I don't know if he was insane. I don't know if he was a mad genius. It's obviously something very spiritual, but it's right on the edge there of, of spirituality and nuttiness. <laughs> I just had a feeling to build this garden like you have a feeling you know right what to expect. <laughs> that, makes, that makes very good sense. <laughs> here. I'm interested in every human being in this world. I didn't come here to put nothing on nobody, push nothing on nobody. I didn't come here to take nothing away from nobody. I didn't come here to start some new kind of religion. I come here for one thing, and that is I have visions of other worlds. I have visions that's, that's unimaginable. I have visions that I can't even tell people. And I try the best I can to draw my vision. Howard Finster was probably the most famous self-taught artist of the 20th century. When Howard Finster paints, he nearly always writes, too. Some of his paintings seem to double as short stories or sermonettes. The man was truly inspired by God. When you were around him, you knew you were in the presence of somebody uh, special. He's got the southern soul. He's got the farmer soul. And that, it goes through his art. I came to know the artist Howard Finster through rock and roll. He's designed album covers for R.E.M. and Talking Heads, and his work is in the Smithsonian Institute. Finster spent 30 years building this place, creating works in cement and wood and whatever else he liked. Howard was really isolated, and he, he did things that have never been done in the history of the world. I mean, Howard's a genius, there's no question. There are certain people, I guess, for some reason, they just touch you in this way, and they have this thing that everybody can relate to. Paradise Gardens is the center point of Howard's work. Once he became known, I think everybody wanted to go because it was such a cool place. His work was not really the garden. His work, and according to Howard, was to get his messages out to people. The garden was just the means of doing it. He's the Picasso of self-taught artists and maybe even better than Picasso. Picasso.